Well, they're calling it a Christmas miracle and a last minute deal. Interfaith Hospital will stay open for one more month thanks to emergency funding from the governor's office. But as PIX11's Joe Masiri explains now, that means politicians have just 30 days to figure out how to keep that hospital open for good. Eight million dollars and two more months. That's what Interfaith Medical Center now has to get off life support if it wants to stay open moving forward. The new life comes as 10 Brooklyn politicians, including public advocate elect Letitia James, urged Governor Cuomo to keep the hospital open. We all were in one voice and that, and that voice was that we really needed to save Interfaith Hospital. Many weren't sure Interfaith would even be open into the new year after mediation talks to save the hospital broke down late last week. Administrators for the hospital, which is reportedly losing $3 million per month, were expected to file a closure plan Monday morning. But just minutes before that was supposed to happen, the State Department of Health asked administrators to hold off, giving the hospital $8 million to stay open two more months to come up with a contingency plan. A lot more that we ever had before. <laughs> and so it's taken us to at least March to give us some time to get money from Washington and hopefully that we'll able to keep this place open. The future of the hospital now likely depends on one of two options. The first would be a merger with Kingsbrook Jewish Hospital, which has already started the process to take over Interfaith's outpatient clinics. The second depends on help from Washington to reimburse higher Medicaid rates. Right now, about 60% of patients at Interfaith depend on Medicaid. Without this hospital, I wouldn't be here today. The doctors and the staff worked very hard to save my life. Under a current proposal in Washington, several states, including New York, would receive higher reimbursement rates because of money they saved the federal government. That money would benefit hospitals like Interfaith. Well, the fact that Interfaith is a safety net hospital that serves people who may be otherwise uninsured, indigent, or Medicaid eligible would qualify them for some of the funding. And because of today's announcement, it means 1,500 people who work here at Interfaith Medical Center will now have jobs for at least two more months. But most of them say it's more important that the patients have their hospital. Reporting from Brooklyn, Joe Masiri, 